Hi friends, welcome to the video tutorial session of test complete in executeautomation.com. So far in executeautomation.com, we have discussed about various testing tools like QTP, Selenium, and BSTS. For test complete, we have taken a different way. We have started creating a video format of discussion so that we can help people to help them getting started in test complete very quickly. In this session, we're going to quickly go over to the test complete's IDE and some of its important advantages and features. I like test complete very much since it's very similar to QDP and it not only allow me to write codes in VBScript, it also allow me to write codes in JavaScript and Delphi. Okay, so let's not waste our time and let's get started. In order to start my test complete session, I'm going to my virtual machine running in my VMware. So this is the test complete IDE. It looks similar like a Visual Studio IDE a little bit and a QTP IDE. So it's a combination of both, but it's very simple. To learn. Test complete has got a lot of features as like QTP. It not only helps us write test just for functional UI test, but also test commit allows us to write manual test. It also helps us to test web services, HTTP performance test, and also allows to perform distributed test by means of remote agents and other stuff. Well, our interest of this session is just the IDE discussion. So here the test complete has its initial start page. So it has recent project list. It has some getting started video tutorials and step by step tutorials as you have seen in other testing tools like QDP also. Here we have something called as record new test. If you click this, you can easily record your test and it straight away goes to keyword test. Well, about keyword test, we can discuss about them in later sessions. Basically, this complete IDE has a project explorer, a code explorer, and a browser explorer in its nail pen of its side. The project explorer actually holds the project I have just for demonstration purpose created a project with session one. While creating a project, we can discuss about the project creation in next sessions. So here it has a project suite. And here this is the project which I'm going to work with. And it has got an advanced folder which actually holds the scripts that you are recording. You can of course record the scripts or you can record the test by means of keyword test. Well, keyword test is actually a, a UI based test. So whatever test you record, all the tests will be recorded as an UI item here so that you can perform the operation in this window and make changes by means of this test action help and by clicking just the logging option to perform the log operation on the stuff. Name mapping is similar to the object repository in QDP. If you are very much familiar with QDP, then name mapping is no different with that. And stores, it actually holds the collection of images, files, and XML files, or even the data tables, or the XLS files, whatever you want to hold for supporting the projects. Everything can be stored in these stores files. Tester app is something which actually holds your application under test. It can be a reference to the path of your application itself. Or if your application is very small, you can even include it in test app itself. Where project suite logs, it actually holds all the log files of your test. So while your test executes, automatically the logs files will be created. Well, coming back to the keyword tests, here it automatically created a test one. If you see this test one, it has a lot of 
test actions. So these are nothing but the operations that you can actually perform in your test. I'm not going to deal fully about these details right now, but we can discuss about these things in our upcoming s tutorials. As QTP is very much famous for its record and playback, test complete is of no different. You can also perform record and playback here. The very best feature of QTP, I would say, is object identification and recording it in the object repository. Similarly, in test complete, we have object recognition and object identification by means of record and playback. In QTP, we have something called as object spy to identify the object of application under test. Similarly, we have object spy in test complete too, which is available here. If we click this object spy, you can see this object spy available here. Using this crosshair, you can drag on a particular object within your application. I don't have any open application right now, so I have just the operating system. So I'm just clicking on this test complete object and it shows me all the properties of the particular object. If you click this view more members, it will show you the advanced view of the object identifications. It is really very cool and it's very huge than compared to the object spy of QDP. But it is really very helpful to drill down to find the exact value of the object. You can also have methods and you can see all these methods available for the particular object of the application. Okay, I'm not going to deal fully with this object spy right now. So, this is the basic introduction of the IDE of Test Complete. Let's discuss more about IDE in part 2.